the story thus far. When my computer suffered its BSOD, one of the many troubleshooting tips I found was to remove a component that, according to a certain diagnostic tool, <coughs> Windows 8 memory diagnostic, <coughs> was just fine. So I ignored it. Three and a half weeks later, my computer, with a fresh new motherboard, was still suffering the same crash, and I had run out of options. It was then that I decided to follow that little tip and do what it turned out needed to be done all along. And so continued the BSOD saga. Part 6. The Real Culprit. I reached in and removed one of my 8 gig memory sticks and turned on the computer. And turned on the computer. God damn this crap again. What the hell was going on? I hit the button a few times and it finally switched on, only to immediately go to a blue screen. I turned it off. I put the first memory stick back in and removed the other. I turned on the computer, this time it booted up instantly, and loaded the OS disk. The OS installed. The installation got to 83%, the level at which the BSOD had occurred previously. It kept going. It was done. I looked at my desktop. That was my desktop. Yep. I looked down at the memory stick I had pulled out. The casing looked cracked. On closer inspection, it smelled funny. Probably shorted out during a power surge. Makes sense. Hmm. I toss it against the fucking wall! Fuck you, you sucker! Three weeks! Three weeks! I could have fixed it in three minutes! Fuck memory diagnostic tool, mother memory diagnostic fucking cocksucker memory diagnostic fuck you you said it was fine you said the memory was fine well is it all along too all along it, it it was the first the first thing the first thing the troubleshooting guide said to do remove one of the memory cards and restart the computer this usually solves 70 percent of all windows related bsod issues but no, 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 not, not, not for me, no, no. Why follow the simplest solution when that's not my style? No, I'd rather take the whole fucking computer apart, waste who knows how much money and time tracking down figments of my imagination. fan fucking tastic I'm so fucking smart. I'm brilliant. I'm a genius. Why isn't the world more like me? Oh wait, it is! Humans make things more complicated than they need to be! It's in our nature! I love nature! I think we should burn it all down! Start over on another planet, what am I talking about? I don't know. I felt like an idiot! You ever get that when you spend so much time to solve a problem and it turns out all you had to do was something simple, like punch it? or take a step to the right, and everyone was telling you, dude, all you've got to do is this. But what they were saying didn't make any sense to you at the time, so you just kept going on, and you end up neck deep in a termite mound in Antarctica. I need a drink. I need two drinks. I need an ocean, and a helmet, and a horse. Yeah. F bullshit. I'm dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb as fuck. But I know now I fixed the problem, and I've, I've got, I, I, I've got it. I've finished. It's done. It's done. I did it. All I've got to do is bring it to Jeb's, get the updates done, because my internet sucks balls. Here, it's ridiculous. Considering, the the memory is actually the least expensive part of my computer. You know, I mean the. Motherboard was $170. The CPU was $350. The GPU was $320. Power supply was $200. I got a good power supply. That's why it was $200. Don't judge. Case was $120. DVD drive costs about $15, bucks, but I don't count that because DVD drive is... I mean... You can trip over the damn things. They're so fucking ubiquitous. Blu-ray burner was 90 bucks. But it's a good one. It's a dual-layer Blu-ray burner. The, the memory, on the other hand, 80 bucks a piece. Together, they had a discount of 
but 80 bucks a piece. I spent more than that on gas going to get the motherboard I didn't even f need! I decided to go to bed. It was already 2 a.m., no sense in staying up all night feeling sorry for myself. Besides, it was finished. Nothing else was gonna go wrong. It was done. I solved the problem. Yeah. If only it were that simple. There wouldn't be a BSOD saga if it had ended right there. If it had finished right there and then. These videos wouldn't exist, but... And this might be a little surprising to some of you. The worst was yet to come. I should have realized something was wrong, too. Continued in part seven.